So you may have just picked up an iPhone and you might be trying to figure out how you can use screen time on your particular phone. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time. So to give you a quick breakdown, screen time is basically a way to go ahead and basically limit your usage and view your usage on your iPhone. So make your way over to your iPhone settings and click on screen time right here. And this is basically what screen time looks like. So basically as a quick breakdown, if you want to go ahead and turn it on, you may just have to go scroll down and click turn on if you actually want to set it up. You can see we do have the option for set up screen time for family. We'll get into that in a second. Now at the very top app and website activity, this will go and basically give you insights on exactly what apps and what things you're doing, as well as giving you downtime and app limits. So if you turn it on, it's basically going to allow you to go ahead and see your activity at the very top, but also you'll basically be able to set up downtime app limits and so many other things as well. So this is basically going to allow you to go ahead and create kind of these limits to where, you know, if for some reason, your particular phone, if you want to you know, limit uh, certain social media apps or whatever, you can basically add limits that will basically, you know, go ahead and limit those things for you, which is very cool. Now scrolling down, you have communication limits. So it's basically the same thing. If you want to limit the amount of time that people are able to contact you, it's basically in a more enhanced version of, you know, do not disturb. So that's essentially an option that you have there too. You also have content and privacy restrictions. So what this will allow you to do is it'll basically go ahead and basically, once again, kind of you know, allow you to limit the content that you see that you're able to use. And then you can go and do go on to lock screen time settings. If you want to go ahead and basically you know, create a passcode behind your particular you know, lock screen settings, you have that option. Share across devices allows you to go and share everything of your screen time thing across all your devices. Now, personally, I keep this off because I don't like having all my screen time things kind of in, you know, enabled on all of them at the same time if I don't want them to be. So you can basically go ahead and limit that just by clicking on that particular button right there. Now, set up screen time for family. Essentially, if you're you know, a family member is using this iPhone or if you want to limit the usage of their phone on a family member's phone, you can do that exact same thing within this panel as well. So you can come right here and you can just you know enable it if you want to. Typically, I just keep it off because I don't have any kids or anything yet. So I just don't even need to do that yet. Then that is that at the high level. Now, there's a lot of other things built in within here within screen time. So if you go ahead and make your way out of here, if you come back into screen time, you can see new iOS 17 features like screen distance. So screen, dis screen distance will go ahead and see how close you're holding your iPhone to your particular face. And if it deems that that's kind of weird or if it's too close, it'll go ahead and give you some pop-ups. You can go ahead and keep this on. I know a lot of people are annoyed by it, so you might just want to keep it off. Same thing with communication safety. So sensitive photos and videos protection. If you want to keep this on, which I would recommend everyone to do, you can go and continue and keep this on. And that's another option that may end up working for you if you just want to go ahead and basically, you know, kind of not see some things that people are sending. So at a high level, that's how to use screen time. There's always new screen time features being added. So if you want to be first in line for it, you can always go into your iPhone settings, click on general, click on software update and update your iPhone. And that's an easy way to go and get some of these features. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.